Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Jujutsu Kaisen. I am the strongest spellcaster. Chapter 36. There are still five days until the three monsters are resurrected. Late at night, in a deep canyon on the outskirts of the country, there is a secret base of the Curse Division organization. In the realm of life created by Kitchen Hufu and Guhuang. Within the domain, there is a plane. In the center of the plane, there are three tall stone statues. They correspond to the three major monsters of Yamada no Orochi, Tamamo Mei, and Daitengu respectively. And a large altar for worship. The three major curse master organizations are currently discussing the resurrection plan in five days. Everything is ready now, all that's left is the east wind. Do you two have anything to say? Go Xion, the oldest among the three, spoke. Of course, I think we need to get rid of that guy named Wen Ren Mo Yan first. Hu Fu said in a cold voice. Even now, her hand still hurts. Kitchen and Go Huan both shook their heads and did not agree with Hu Fu's opinion. He said that he would come out to stop us at the most critical moment. If we don't get rid of him now, there will be endless troubles. Hu Fu talked about the pros and cons. Of course, revenge played a big part. Kitchen said, not to mention whether the few of us who want to blatantly kill a quasi-special level jujutsu master can succeed. Even if we succeed, how much will we lose? The top priority now is not to get rid of that man, but to resurrect the adults. With the power of the adults, we are qualified to go to war with the jujutsu masters and fight against each other. Kitchen paused, and then said, perhaps we can offer a reward and let other curse masters intercept and kill Wen Ren Mo Yan in five days. We don't want to kill him, just to delay him. Or, if you pay a high price and let that man take action, there is no possibility of success. Kitchen said in a serious tone. The man he was talking about was naturally the tyrant of heaven and earth, Fu Heishir. Gohuo on the side made a sound at this time, shook his head, and said in an old voice, It's absolutely impossible, we can't ask that guy Fu Heishir to take action. Have you forgotten what that man's last name was? Even if Fuhei breaks away from the Zenin family and marries Fushihei, it doesn't mean that he has no contact with the Zenin family. He is still a Zenin. Don't forget, that old ghost from the Zenin family is still alive. As long as he is still alive, Fuheishir will not be able to change the world. Back then, half of the Zenin family was slaughtered. Do you really think that lunatic had feelings for the other half of the clan? Hee <laughs> hee. Calling all the members back, as long as they enter our home court, even if the Six Eyes kid from the Gojo family comes, we can make him die of hatred. Night, Tokyo, on a dim street. A tall, unruly man with black hair and eyes was walking carelessly on his way home. Fuheishir just completed a mission to remove the first level cursed spirit. For him, level 1 is too weak. But he was very satisfied with the price given by his employer. Fuheishir looked at the bank card balance information sent by his mobile phone and couldn't help but raise the corners of his mouth. Looks like I can take a big gamble again. Fuheishir is going to have a big gamble next. After all, the only way to relieve worries is to get rich suddenly. Just when Fuhei was walking comfortably on this less traveled road, several figures appeared from the darkness and stood in front of Fuheishir. Fuheishir raised his eyelids and looked at the people not far away with a nonchalant look, as if he was looking at a few big, blind dogs blocking the road. Get out of the way, good dogs stay out of the way. Zenin, my master, please come back with us. One of them spoke. Fuheishir seemed not to have heard it, and said in a cold voice, go away. If you don't come back with us, then we'll have to use a little violence. A young voice responded, seemingly a young man who had just become a jujutsu master. I thought Fuheishir was just a big loser with no magic power. I don't know how powerful Fuheishir is. Soon, he will pay the price for his arrogance. The next second, Fuheishir had already arrived in front of the man, lifted the man high with a big hand, and grabbed the man's throat with his hand. How is that possible? Isn't he a waste with zero magic power? How can he be so fast? The man couldn't believe it. He wanted to break free from Fuheishir's shackles, but found that the other person's body was like steel and his hands were like steel pliers. No matter how much he resisted, he was powerless. Soon, the man's face began to turn red and purple due to lack of oxygen, his eyes bulged, and he was about to die due to lack of oxygen. 
Someone wanted to come to the rescue but was stopped by the leading man. I told you not to mess with this man. He is looking for death himself and cannot blame anyone else. The leading man was a survivor who had witnessed the massacre of the Zenon family by Sky and Tyrant. He knew very well and understood how terrifying the man in front of him was. Just when the man was about to die, a stooped, extremely old man slowly walked out of the darkness. That's enough, Sheer, the farce should end. The old man's voice was hoarse and low, as if the lamp had run out of oil, yet it made people feel extremely frightened. Zenon, the previous head of the Zenon family, the owner of the Zenon family's ten shadow spells. Really, I don't think so. The sky and the tyrant sneered, and they exerted great force, only to hear the crisp sound of broken bones. That man is dead. Death was so sudden, so random. Zenon looked at the dead man without any sign of pain. Instead, he glanced indifferently and continued to communicate with Fuheisher. Sheer, you are so disrespectful to me, I am your grandfather. Zenon snapped. Old man, don't be so sentimental. What kind of grandpa are you? You have something to say, don't waste my time. Fuhei said disdainfully, always maintaining a carefree smile on his lips. It seemed as if he didn't take Zenon in front of him seriously at all. Zenon snorted coldly and stopped talking nonsense. I heard that you and the curse master have been very close recently. Be careful, you are a stain on the Zenon family. Don't smear our Zenon family. Hearing these words, Fuheishir sneered, smear. Who wants to be born in your trash heap? Okay, I understand. If there's nothing else, I'll leave first. After Fuheishir finished speaking, he was about to turn around and leave. Fuheishir. The old man's originally cloudy eyes suddenly became clear like the top hunter in the dark night. His eyes were cold, exuding fierce murderous intent. Don't forget, you are still a member of the Zenon family, and you bleed the blood of the Zenon family. The reason why you can live so carefree outside and receive the task of extracting the cursed spirit is because those Jujutsu masters are doing it for the sake of our Zenon family. Now, I need you to answer me. Have you ever had contact with the cursed master? Suddenly, several Shikigami emerged from the darkness. They emitted a low cry, and the aura and murderous intent they exuded were not at all comparable to the Shikigami summoned by Fushiguro Megumi. On the contrary, it is more similar to the Shikigami summoned by Sukuna controlling Fushiguro Megumi. Fushikiji stopped and looked back at Zenin. He replied, No. After hearing Fushikiji's answer, Zenin was finally satisfied. As long as you don't collude with the curse master and do anything to smear our Zenin family, you can do whatever you want. It doesn't matter if you are a bride-in-law or whatever. After all, you are just a waste with zero magic power. After saying that, Zenon's figure disappeared into the shadows, as if he had never been there before. He didn't even take another look at the dead man. Even from the beginning to the end, he always maintained an arrogant and dismissive attitude towards Fuheishir. Even if Fuheishire slaughtered half of the Zenon family back then, even if Fuheishire now can kill him completely. He always had this arrogant attitude. Fushikiji looked at the direction Zenin was leaving, took a mouthful of saliva and spit it on the ground, with a look of disgust on his face. It's so filthy and rotten. Then Fuheishir thought about it again and couldn't help but laugh at himself. Forget it, it's better than a garbage person like me. Zenin's house, at this time, Zenin Naoto has returned to his antique and historic room. Looking at the precious tea that had just been served, Zenin felt bored. Is there really no clansman who can inherit the ten shadow spells? Zenin sighed quietly, he is already old, very old. I'm afraid the deadline is only a few years away. I didn't expect that the strongest person in the Zenin family would actually be a useless person without any magic power. Zenin snorted coldly and couldn't help but laugh at himself. For thousands of years in the Zenin family, the concept of Jujutsu being supreme has been deeply ingrained. This once prosperous family has decayed. Kyoto, Jujutsu High Rise, in the dark room, the senior executives hide under the screen to hide their greedy and ugly faces. At this time, they were discussing something fiercely. HMPH, that Wenren Moyan from the Guan family actually dares to disobey our orders. Of course, he can have the support of the Gojo family behind him, so it's natural to be tough, you're right. Have you checked the calendar of the cursed tool? According to the investigation, there are some clues. 
The only thousand-year-old sword that can be printed with dragon patterns may be the famous Water Dragon Sword. Water Dragon Sword, isn't that in the museum? Maybe it's a fake. I'm afraid it's not fake. One of the senior executives presented evidence, saying that it was the news that the whereabouts of the Water Dragon Sword was unknown around the time Abe Samek killed Tomomo the Nine-Tailed Fox thousands of years ago. In order to give an explanation to the emperor, Abe Seime spent a lot of money to hire the most famous cursed toolmaker at the time to create a brand new imitation water dragon sword. Looking at the evidence, several senior executives couldn't help but show greedy faces. These treasures should be kept by us. Yes, if it's an ordinary special grade cursed tool, forget it, but if this is the water dragon sword, it's a treasure of our entire jujutsu world. It can't be monopolized by just one person. The water dragon sword was rumored to have been used as a sword by three generations of Chinese emperors, but later it disappeared inexplicably. Containing very powerful power, it is a treasure coveted by many jujutsu masters. Thousands of years ago, the Tang dynasty in China was prosperous, and all nations came to court. Jujutsu master's power is the best in the world, I don't know why. Hundreds of years later, except for Neon, Jujutsu declined rapidly in other parts of the world. Even the former Washa, the holy land of all Jujutsu masters, was in terrible decline. Even a first-level Jujutsu master can count them on five fingers. Of course, the advantage of the decline of Jujutsu masters is also very obvious, that is, the probability of cursed spirit appearing is extremely low, extremely low. This also makes the whole world appear with the neon cursed spirit. There are a lot of cursed spirits to grab, and unlike the kingdom of mold, we still don't know that there are jujutsu masters. As for the setting of the one-eyed cat, a certain moldy really didn't know the existence of the jujutsu master. I tried my best to adapt it based on the original work, so I didn't send it blindly. Time passed very quickly, and in a blink of an eye it was the day when the three monsters were resurrected. At night, Dark clouds filled the sky, covering the moon and stars. In the dark night, a tall figure stood on the cliff. Under his feet was a bottomless canyon. And inside this canyon is the headquarters of the Curse Master Organization. Tonight, Wenren Mo Yan was wearing a white sweatshirt and sneakers, looking very cool and handsome. Attached to his waist is the special grade cursed tool that he conquered not long ago, the water dragon sword that was used as a sword by three generations of kings. Ghost face, you stay outside. When Ren Mo Yan took out a small black ball and threw it to the ghost face beside him. Ghost face took the black ball and nodded, yes, master. When I get down, you will release this curtain. When Ren Mo Yan said, and then showed an excited and bloodthirsty smile. This curtain can only be entered but not exited. The only way to lift it is if there is only one person alive inside the curtain. Tonight, it is destined that only one person can leave here alive. And this person, must be me. Wenren Moyan said with great confidence, and then jumped into the canyon without hesitation. Following the emergence of Gojo Satoru, another Jujutsu master prodigy has been dubbed the strongest in modern times. Known as the most powerful spellcaster in thousands of years. Hear people's words and start taking action. The falling gust of wind blew against his face. When Ren Mo Yan, who activated the All Souls observation technique, saw that he was still at least 200 meters away from the canyon. At the bottom, a huge black curtain suddenly appeared in Wen Ren Mo Yan's sight. When Ren Mo Yan looked at the huge curtain at the bottom of the canyon and smiled coldly. If I hadn't made some marks on that woman, I might have been deceived by your attacks. When Ren Mo Yan activated the magic power, and the speed of descent began to slow down, and finally landed perfectly. Looking at the huge curtain in front of them, an ordinary person might think that the group of curse masters are inside. But in Wenren Mo Yan's sight, Hu Fu was sitting cross-legged on a huge altar. There are two people beside him, and the cursed spirit they exude is not weaker than Hu Fu. Behind them, three huge stone statues stood, absorbing some very powerful power. And this ceremony seems to be coming to an end. In front of the altar, there were hundreds of curse masters waiting in full formation. Wen Ren Mo Yan estimated that there were almost 300 people. It's just that most of them are weak curse masters of the third and fourth levels. The second level does not account for one tenth, and the first level is even less. Hearing Ren Mo Yan's thoughts, the water dragon sword broke out of its sheath. 
Base. The blade is unsheathed and moves like thunder. A flash of blood flashed, and a rock in the canyon was cut open, revealing the figures of the curse masters. The Sheng domain that Hu Fu and the others had jointly created was cut open by Wenren Moyan's water dragon sword. Wenren Moyan summoned a cursed spirit and swallowed the water dragon sword for safekeeping. Immediately, two more black vortexes appeared, manifested by the power of the spell. When Ren Mo Yan pulled out two top quality swords without any magical power, which were refined over hundreds of times. He leapt forward and jumped into the enemy's realm. Come yet, Hu Fu and the others already knew about the arrival of this uninvited guest from the moment when Ren Moyan jumped into the canyon. What they didn't expect was that the carefully set curtains did not deceive Wen Ren Mo Yan. Three minutes to go, Kitchen, who was sitting in the center, spoke. The curse master behind him nodded. Lord Chi Chen, please rest assured, we will do our best to stop that Jujutsu master even if we risk our lives. Wen Ren Mo Yan held the knife in his backhand and looked at the 300 enemies in front of him quietly. His eyes were contemptuous and arrogant. 300, 100 seconds is enough. The next second, Wen Ren Mo Yan's figure flashed and he rushed towards the curse masters. 1. Hearing someone's ink whisper, he waved his swords, two cold lights flashed through the air, and several heads flew out. Then Wenren Mo Yan continued to speak, switching swords and stabbing the curse masters on both sides who were killing him, too. The two blades were like venomous snakes, killing with one strike, stabbing a bloody hole in the throats of the two curse masters. The two curse masters covered their necks, blood spurting uncontrollably, and finally fell to the ground with hatred. For Wenren Moyan, a curse master of this level could easily kill people with just his physical skills, even if he didn't use curse power. Without the use of magic power, when it comes to physical skills alone, I don't dare to brag about being the best after hearing the words of others. But when it comes to physical skills, no one is more proficient than Wenren Moyan, who has incredible understanding. You want to dance too. Wenren Moyan pinched the neck of a curse master and smiled proudly. This kind of fancy food abuse is really great. He always knew why Madara in Naruto didn't turn on the big guns from the beginning. This feeling of being superior to others and looking down at the battlefield is simply awesome. At this time, Wenren Moyan, who had activated the full output 10,000 spirits observation technique, seemed to have turned white eyes. Not only does it have a 360 degree view of the Byakugan, it can also overlook the entire battlefield from a god's perspective. Every movement of the curse masters seemed to be in slow motion in Wen Ren Mo Yan's eyes. Every shake of their shoulders, every swing of their weapons, every throw of jujutsu. They can all be perfectly predicted by Wen Ren Mo Yan. Hearing Ren Mo Yan was like the god of murder coming, killing the curse masters and being defeated, and their blood flowed everywhere. But the curse masters seemed to be unafraid of death and continued to charge towards Wen Ren Mo Yan. Every time Wen Ren Mo Yan swung his blade, he could take away the lives of several curse masters. In less than half a minute, the two swords in Wenren Moyan's hands had already shattered. Human bones are very hard, and if you cut too much with a knife, the blade will break. What's more, Wenren Moyan has not used magic power to kill anyone so far. After all, in his eyes, these curse masters are just cursed spirits after death, so how can they be killed with cursing power? When Ren Mo Yan directly inserted two broken blades into the head of a curse master. Then he took out two more handfuls from the mouth of the special storage cursed spirit. Swords flashed everywhere, and blood spread all over the sky. This one-sided massacre came to an end only after when Ren Mo Yan chopped down six knives. 100. When Ren Mo Yan gasped and counted out the last second with great enjoyment. At this time, when Ren Mo Yan was covered in blood, and his white hair was dyed red by the blood of the curse masters. At this moment, Wenren Mo Yan was like the Shira god of killing from hell, standing proudly in the mountain of corpses and sea of blood. Kitchen and the other three looked at the curse masters who were all killed by Wenren Mo Yan, and couldn't help but be shocked by Wenren Mo Yan's strength. 300 curse masters were killed in just 100 seconds. Even if you are trying to kill a chicken by riding a horse, it will take you a long time. But the most troublesome thing now is that there are still 80 seconds left, how to hold on. Now is the critical moment, and all their magic power and attention are devoted to this induction ceremony. 
To put it simply, even a child with a knife can kill them now. Only 80 seconds left before their introduction ceremony was completed. It's still a little bit worse. It's still a little bit worse. Is it really like what this said, that he will stop us at the most critical moment? I'm not willing to give in, I'm not willing to give in. Quote. Hufu shouted hysterically, as long as he could successfully attract the power of adults. The boy in front of me is nothing to be afraid of. Kitchen and Gohuan also looked solemn, they were obviously here. It's obviously just the last step, is it really going to fall short? Obviously the sacrifice they chose this time was so perfect, as if God was helping them. As long as they succeed, they can draw 20% of the adult's power. As long as they succeed, the positions of their curse master and jujutsu master will be reversed. What six eyes, what Sha Yuji, what genius of the Gowan family. They are nothing more than local chickens and dogs. But now it's too late to say anything, it's too late to do anything. These 80 long seconds were enough to kill the three of them dozens of times. MD. Where did that ghost go? Kitchen shouted angrily, at this critical moment, this guy actually disappeared for me. Ghost is the only first level curse master under Chi Chen. He usually wears a black robe and is very mysterious. How could he disappear at such a critical moment after following Kitchen for the longest time? The only thing that made Kitchen feel wrong was that after the ghost came back from a mission, a long suture appeared on his forehead. At that time, Kitchen didn't take it seriously. After all, there was no curse master who was not injured. At this time, outside the canyon, Kengsuo Naohua, who controlled the ghost's body, was secretly observing everything under a big tree. I didn't expect the kid from Guan's family to find this place. Naohua thought thoughtfully. Logically speaking, how did he find such a secret place? Looking at the huge black curtain in the distance, the ghost face is guarding above. Naohua finally stopped thinking and left here. After all, his plan has reached this final step. Whether it succeeds or not, leave it to fate. It's done, Kitchen brings the power of the great demons to the world, which can help him consume the power and foundation of the Jujutsu world. Pave the way for future plans. If it fails, go ahead with the original plan, resurrect Sukuna, and start the journey back to death. Now Hua took out the prison gate from his arms. A sigh, now is not the time to seal six eyes. After all, prison gate is not invincible, and there are ways to break it. What he needs is time when Gojo Satoru doesn't exist so that he can take the final crucial step. As long as he succeeds, everything he has been dormant for thousands of years and planned for thousands of years will be worth it. On the other side, within the realm of birth, Wenren Mo Yan looked at the people on the altar not far away with a smile on his face. The three people on the altar were already sweating profusely, fearing that Mo Yan would step over and kill the three of them. They are not afraid of death, but they are afraid of the failure of the plan. When Ren Mo Yan walked slowly, and every step made the three of them breathe a little heavier. When there are still ten meters away, it seems that some kind of taboo is triggered. Several giant snakes came out of the air and bit at Wen Ren Mo Yan. Wen Ren Mo Yan raised his eyebrows slightly and grinned. God formula. The sound was like a dragon roaring. When Ren Mo Yan summoned the water dragon sword and killed several giant snakes in front of him with one blow. That's it. You can't stop me. When Ren Mo Yan sneered, it would be a bit fanciful to try to stop him with just a few shikigami. Kitchen and the others also didn't expect that Wen Ren Mo Yan was so powerful. You must know that those shikigami were carefully cultivated by Kitchen. Each one has considerable strength, and even handling it by himself requires a lot of effort. Unexpectedly, in front of Wenren Moyan, he didn't even stop him for a second, and he was instantly defeated in one glance. The difference in strength was too big. I'm afraid the strength of the young man in front of me is too terrifying. Just when they thought their plan failed. The next second, Wenren Moyan actually sat on the ground. Hurry up, I'll wait for you. As soon as these words came out, the eyes of Kitchen and others suddenly widened and they were almost stunned. If it weren't for the fact that they couldn't separate themselves from each other now, they would have asked Wenren Mo Yan if his brain was burned out and he wouldn't even do anything about it. I'll kill you while you're sick. Is he deliberately playing tricks on us? Say no, just when you thought there was hope, I'll go back on my promise and then stab you in the back. 
Seeing despair in hope, and seeing hope in despair, isn't this the game they usually like to play? I didn't expect that this day would happen to me. But something unexpected happened to the three of them. Wenren Mo Yan really didn't do anything, but just cleaned the blood stains on his body. Soon, Wenren Mo Yan cleaned the blood and stains from his body. The three of Kitchen also completed the ceremony. But the ceremony is not completely over, and it will take some time to fully awaken the adult's power. Now what the three of them need to do is to clear the obstacles in front of them for the adults. Little handsome boy, we meet again. The completely liberated Hu Fu smiled charmingly and stared at Wen Ren Mo Yan with a pair of beautiful eyes, as if he was going to eat Wen Ren Mo Yan alive in the next second. Yes, we meet again. Wen Ren Mo Yan said with a smile. Okay, stop talking nonsense. The reason I'm waiting for you is not because I don't want to kill you. But I want to feel the despair of your stubborn resistance. Then, let's start fighting. Wen Ren Mo Yan opened his arms and looked at the three of them expectantly. The three of them did not hesitate at all. They know that the strength of the young man in front of them is far beyond theirs, so there is no need to test and they will go all out. They can survive now not only by hiding well, but also by their strength. The three of them working together may not be able to kill Wenren Moyan. The three of them formed seals at the same time, and the huge power of the curse poured out like a flood from a dam. Hu Fu, Domain Expansion, Qinshan Yushang Peak. Kitchen. Domain Expansion, 10,000 Swallowing Demonic Abyss. The Dog Calls, Domain Expansion, Fu Yan. Field, Interesting. I didn't expect you guys to have some strength. But, it's just a little bit. Compared to me, they are nothing more than bugs. Wenren Mo Yan smiled proudly, as if everything was under his control, and then began to form seals with one hand. I only heard Ren Mo Yan calling softly. Domain Expansion, Eternal Hell. In just a moment, the realm that the three of them had developed at the same time was completely destroyed by Wen Ren Mo Yan's realm. It was as if their realm was nothing more than a paper tiger in front of Wen Ren Mo Yan's realm, which could be broken with just one poke. The next second, the three of them were pulled into the realm of Wen Ren Mo Yan. It's like entering another world. This world is painful, tormenting, but beautiful. But behind the beauty lies a heart-breaking curse. The infinite hell, also known as the Avachi Hell, is the most painful of the eight hells in Buddhism. Those who suffer from this realm will be pulled into the eternal hell. There is no time or space in the endless hell, only endless torture and karma. Enjoy it. When Ren Mo Yan put down his seal hand and looked at the three people in front of him. Although when Ren Mo Yan only opened the field for just 0.1 seconds. Its power has made the three of them look like soulless corpses. Because in the 0.1 second just now, in their world, 10 years, 100 years, 1000 years, 10,000 years or even, 100 million years may have passed. Live forever. Thousands of lives, infinite, immeasurable greatness. Because this move was too cruel and overbearing, Wenren Moyan himself did not dare to use it easily. Boom. Sounds like thunder exploded. The last moment of the ceremony is finally over. The stone statue began to break into pieces. One had eight heads and eight tails, and its eyes were like red lantern fruits. The monster, whose body was covered with moss, cypress and fir trees, and whose stomach was always bloody, appeared in Wenren Mo Yan's eyes as if it had been rotted away. Another stone statue shattered, revealing a woman in a plain dress, as beautiful as a fairy. Her slender, snow-white neck, skin as smooth as gelatin, bare feet as white as jade, and graceful and extraordinary posture, are like a gift from God that makes people want to get it. The last one is huge and burly, holding a round fan, with wings on his back, a red face and a long nose, and has extraordinary momentum. The most important thing is that the cursed spirit emitted by the three monsters is not inferior to Wenren Mo Yan. His strength may have reached the level of a special jujutsu master. In front of Tamamo, there is the Yamada no Orochi and the Dai Tengu. When Ren Mo Yan stared, and each of the three cursed spirits in front of him possessed a majestic curse power that was not weaker than Wen Ren Mo Yan. Especially Tamamo Mei, whose strength is particularly terrifying if one on one. Without the use of unlimited spells and unlimited cursed spirit spells, Wen Ren Mo Yan would probably be no match. Legend has it that she has the power to summon tsunamis, earthquakes, strong winds and other frightening natural disasters. 
He can also enslave dead people and use them for his own purposes. There are rumors that Su Daji is also a famous person in China. It's just that his strength is a bit weak among many great gods. But this does not mean that she is not strong. On the contrary, she is the only one among the three monsters that Wen Ren Mo Yan feels afraid of. As for the other two, the legendary Yamada no Orochi is a hundred miles long, can easily drink up a river, and can fill eight valleys and eight hills in its sleep. You can imagine how huge he is. But what I can't figure out is that for such an awesome guy, why does he like to eat one woman every year, enough to fill his teeth? Or is there some other secret? The Datengu looks very strong, exuding a magical power as hot as fire, but in fact he is the weakest among the three major monsters. It is also the only cursed spirit that Wen Ren Mo Yan is sure of defeating. If they were the real ones from their heyday, they would naturally avoid them if they heard people's ink words. But now, they all descended into the body of the super imaginary cursed spirit. To put it bluntly, it is the cursed spirit who possesses 20% of their strength. Although Wenren Moyan really wanted to fight these three big monsters and test the limits of his own strength. But I'm afraid this birth realm can't hold on, even the curtains Wenren Moyan has arranged outside can't hold on. The aftermath of the battle may even affect the entire Tokyo. By then, I'm afraid things will become a big deal. The hundreds of curse masters he has killed are about to become cursed spirits. But we can't let them destroy the curse master's corpse with all their curse power. The most important is, is this Tamamo Meisama. Foxfu, who was originally distracted, couldn't help but shed tears when he looked at Tamamo Mei who appeared in front of him. My whole life is to bring this Tamamo Mei into this world. Beautiful, so beautiful. Just like what the master once told me. Master Yamada no Orochi, please kill this ant and lead your devout believers to glory. Chi Chen's eyes filled with tears. He would no longer have to hide around like a mouse. He wants to stand on the top of the world and enjoy power and wealth that he has never had before. He wants everyone to look up to him, fear him, and kneel to him. Da Guan was the calmest. He just supported his body that was in the wind and prayed to the great Tengu, hoping to extend his life. He is old and summoning the great demon is his only hope. And now, this hope has come true. Tamamo Mei, who transformed into a beautiful woman, gave a sweet smile and said to several people, Don't worry, since you let us come to this world again, we will naturally give you what you want without hesitation. The bewitching voice of Yamada no Orochi came, We will give you endless money, graceful beauties, and even lifespan. The great Tengu had arrogant eyes and said coldly, So your first wish is to kill the mortals in front of you. This, this god, is willing to realize your wish. As soon as he finished speaking, the huge body of the great Tengu disappeared. Before anyone could react, a shocking strike directly opened a huge crack in the entire Sheng domain. Even the curtain carefully made by Wenren Mo Yan was almost split open. Wenren Mo Yan narrowly avoided this terrifying blow. Looking at the split Sheng domain, Wenren Mo Yan's pupils trembled. Is this the strength of the ancient demon? Wenren Mo Yan didn't expect that his calculation was completely wrong. He forgot that the calculation of strength was not simply about magic power. I can't even take one one on one. But he was a troubled man, so he started to get excited when he heard Mo Yan. The stronger they are, and the power gained by Wenren Mo Yan after absorbing them, the stronger Jujutsu will be. Ha 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 ha. Awesome, really awesome. I have never felt so excited, I feel like every pore in my body is expanding. My blood is boiling. Wen Ren Mo Yan glanced lightly. Then activate the unlimited cursed spirit speech spell. Kneel down and surrender to me. When Hu Fu and the other two heard this, they were stunned for a moment, and then laughed like crazy. You kid, you are so frustrated and crazy. I think he was frightened by the adults. As a result, in the next second, Tamamo no Mei, Yamada no Orochi, and the Datengu actually knelt down on one knee and surrendered to Wen Ren Mo Yan. Hu Fu, Chi Chen, and Go Huan looked at everything in front of them with confused expressions. Then the three monsters were subdued by Wenren Moyan and sucked into his cursed spirit space. Feeling the cursed spirit from the three monsters, Wenren Moyan felt that his strength could no longer be described as a huge increase. In fact, as long as he wants to, no one can stop him if he kills the entire Neon. How is that possible? This must be fake. 
Hu Fu laughed maniacally, not believing this was true. He began to tear his long black hair and scratched his beautiful face. Soon he was covered in blood and looked ugly. It must be a dream, it must be, wake up, wake up. Seeing Hu Fu who had completely collapsed, when Ren Mo Yan killed her with one strike without any expression. Then came Kitchen. As for Go Huan, the moment he saw the great Tengu kneeling down and being absorbed by Wenren Mo Yan, he died. It saves you the trouble of hearing what people say. Half an hour later, the cursed spirit, which was born after the death of the cursed master, was fully revived. Hundreds of cursed spirits appeared, and the resentment was overwhelming. All cursed spirits have only one target, the boy who is the only living person in front of them. Eat, eat, eat. The twisted and disgusting cursed spirit rushed towards Wenren Mo Yan. Some have hundreds of big white hands. Some are covered with disgusting eyes. But in Wenren Mo Yan's eyes, they were so cute and delicious. Then they were all subdued by Wenren Mo Yan's words. After absorbing it, Wenren Mo Yan couldn't help but sigh, this unlimited cursed spirit speech technique is so unbelievable. As long as it's cursed spirit, it doesn't matter how awesome you are, as long as you say a word, you have to kneel on the ground and sing conquer. After the end, activate the all souls observation technique to avoid any fish slipping through the net. As a result, Wenren Moyan really discovered one. Under the altar, there was a strange red magic circle. A little girl who looked very small, probably about seven or eight years old, was sleeping in it. Wenren Moyan was surprised. Hey, how strange. Why does this girl feel like a cursed spirit? She feels very weak. Wenren Moyan destroyed the magic circle and wanted to see what was going on, but found a bottomless crack. It's like there's another world on the other side of the crack. At this moment, Jujutsu High School, Tianyuan. How's it going, Lord Tianyuan? On the sidelines, as the only special level Jujutsu master at present, Kuju Yuki asked Tianyuan Dao. Tianyuan, who looks like a cursed spirit and looks like an earthworm, replied, the cracks in the barrier seem to be closed. It's closed. Junju Yuji couldn't help but be delighted. On the side, the big three sorcerer families and the Jujutsu masters in the Jujutsu world couldn't help but heave a sigh of relief. He also holds various premium cursed tools in the family. Wenren Moyan looked at the closed crack and wondered in his heart, what is going on? Why did you close it as soon as I came here? At the moment when the crack closed, the girl slowly opened her eyes as beautiful as black gems. Yo, wake up. Wenren Moyan looked at the girl who had woken up and couldn't help but want to touch her pink face. He had never seen such a lovely cursed spirit. Except for Tamamo Mei who had just been conquered, the other cursed spirits were simply unsightly. According to human aesthetics, it is unsightly. I wonder if it is very beautiful according to cursed spirits aesthetics. Speaking of which, Wa Yu is considered a beauty and cursed spirit. Before Wenren Mo Yan reached out, he realized that the girl in front of him was naked. Wenren Moyan looked around, trying to find some clothes for the other party. However, he discovered that the Sheng domain at this time had not disappeared, but the crack that had just been opened by the great Tengu had also disappeared. He actually healed. Aren't those guys already absorbed by me? Wenren Mo Yan frowned and immediately thought of the reason. Is it this girl? Wenren Moyan turned his gaze to the girl only to find that the magic circle at this time had turned into a large puddle of thick blood, filled with majestic spell power. The next moment, like a bottomless pit, it began to absorb blood like a whirlpool. His originally cute appearance began to turn evil. Black horns began to slowly grow on his head, and his eyes began to look strange like black gems. The original whites of his eyes became dark, and the original pupils became pale, very evil. A black skirt suddenly appeared on the girl's body, wrapping her small body. A pair of black, incomplete wings of different sizes appeared on the girl's back. A pair of white bare feet stood on the altar. If the little girl just now was an angel on earth, then the girl now is a devil who fell into hell. Wenren Moyan felt the power of the spell gradually rising on the little girl and couldn't help but think about it. Is this little girl the source of power for the entire ceremony and even this realm of birth? Thinking of this, Wenren Moyan suddenly became enlightened. No wonder this realm is so huge. After all, such a huge birth field cannot be opened by just a few first-level people. Soon, 
Wenren Moyan noticed that the surrounding environment began to recede rapidly, like a whirlpool, as if it was being absorbed by something. Soon, Wenren Moyan returned to the canyon. I don't know if it was because of Wenren Moyan's eyesight, but Wenren Moyan found that the little girl actually grew a little taller. Before Wenren Moyan could react, the little girl found a big axe that didn't match her figure. The knife struck at Wenren Moyan. The speed was extremely fast, leaving an afterimage in place. Its speed is completely comparable to Wenren Moyan's martial god reincarnation. With a chirping sound, a three-foot-long crack was opened in the ground. If it were Wenren Moyan from the past, he might have said, good danger, good danger. But now Wenren Moyan has absorbed the curse power of three big monsters and the special cursed spirit that the three major curse masters turned into with extreme resentment. The strength is no longer what it used to be. The majestic spell power alone has been directly increased several times. This is Jujutsu who has not yet digested and absorbed the cursed spirit. After giving Wenren Moyan a period of time to digest, Wenren Moyan's methods and strength will usher in another surge. The comprehensive strength may increase by more than 10 times or even dozens of times. By then, I am afraid that in the entire Jujutsu world, only Gojo Satoru, who has awakened the reversal technique and understood the true meaning of Jujutsu, can fight against Wenren Moyan. As for the girl in front of me, she's just like that, a scumbag, I can beat her up with just one finger. Wenren Moyan was not in a hurry now and was ready to play with the little girl. Boom. The little girl swung the axe, splitting the air with a one foot long slash, making a screaming sound, and struck towards Wenren Moyan. Wenren Moyan did not dodge or dodge. In his eyes, this attack could not cause any harm to him at all. Wenren Mo Yan cut open the air with his finger, and a red slash suddenly came out. This is a technique obtained by Wenren Mo Yan absorbing the Great Tengu. The collision of the two slashes made a violent sound, deafening, and raised a thick fog. Wenren Mo Yan was absorbing Jujutsu from the three major monsters while fighting. Later, while absorbing it, he used his heaven-defying understanding to develop and improve it more powerfully. The results were somewhat unsatisfactory. Wenren Moyan found that the three monsters' spells could not be comprehended through heaven-defying comprehension. They could only be used and could not be improved. Could it be? It has reached its limit. In other words, this world can only bear this level of magic. Wenren Moyan couldn't help but think of the scene in Water Dragon Sword. That Tamamo Mei's technique was really outrageous, and it was caused by both natural and man-made disasters. The power is also terrifying. Or should I say, the incredible understanding can only comprehend the jujutsu of the magicians, but not the jujutsu of these great demons, after all, they are not human. Wenren Mo Yan thought for a long time. Forget it, I'm too lazy to think about it. Anyway, I am invincible now. If I think about it too much, my head will hurt. Even if Sukuna is alive, he has to eat 3 kilograms to defend himself if he wants to talk to Wenren Moyan. One fresh trick, eaten all over the world. This is the charm of unlimited spells. No matter how you dodge it, you can't resist it, you can't adapt to it, you can't break it, and its activation is ineffective. Unless Wenren Moyan was killed from the beginning before he could react. But obviously, this is impossible. Just after Wenren Mo Yan played with the little girl for a while, Wenren Mo Yan sensed that several familiar and unfamiliar spells had entered the range of the All Souls observation technique. Wenren Mo Yan immediately activated the unlimited cursed spirit to subdue the little girl. The little girl who was determined not to give up just now with the big axe to kill Wenren Mo Yan suddenly put away the axe. The thighs holding Wenren Mo Yan began to rub against each other. She shouted charmingly to the master of Wenren Moyan. This was not the first time Wenren Moyan had felt such a contrast. Almost every time you use the unlimited cursed spirit speech spell, you will encounter it. Unlimited cursed spirit speech is so perverted. It is indeed Jia's technique. One second ago, I killed you. The next second, master, master's coquettishness. After Wenren Moyan finished everything, he flew out from the curtain. After a while, Gojo Satoru, Shayuji and Yaga Masamiki, as well as several Jujutsu masters that Wenren Moyan didn't recognize, appeared in the field of view of Wenren Moyan's eyes. At this time, Wenren Moyan had turned off the All Souls observation technique. Hey, 
Wu, Jia, Sensen, why are you here? Wenren Mo Yan looked at a few people and said hello. Wenren. Yaga Masamiki was very surprised. This kid wasn't in the dormitory in the middle of the night. Why is he here? When I was looking for someone before, I couldn't find anyone no matter what. Don't answer the phone. Now he actually appears here. Wenren Moyan. I am in the field of birth, how can I take over? No signal again. Wenren Moyan is not going to be some unknown hero, killing a major nuisance in the Jujutsu world and even escaping secretly. When the matter is over, you just brush off your clothes and hide your merits and fame. How about that? You don't want the credit. Give it to someone else. Do you think you are Saitama? Besides, this place is full of traces of my own spell, can I run away? When others smell it, they are right, it is the smell of someone's ink words. Yaga Masamiki was about to ask, but was interrupted by Wenren Moyan. Needless to say, I am my god. You don't need to worship me too much. Just hold a commendation meeting and give me a reward of 1 billion or 80 million, as well as a few sea view villas and industrial luxury cars. I won't choose. Wenren Moyan put his hands on his hips and raised his head to the sky laughing triumphantly. I almost wrote the words, I'm floating, written on my face. What? Master Tianyuan's barrier was destroyed because of you. A Jujutsu master from the big three sorcerer families, with the Zenin family's unique mark embroidered on his clothes, shouted loudly. Several Jujutsu masters who did not understand when Ren Mo Yan immediately took out the cursed tool in Jujutsu, preparing to remove when Ren Mo Yan as the cursed spirit. When Ren Mo Yan felt the killing intent from the same camp and looked confused, ah. What the hell? No, can't you ask clearly what's going on? Look at how bad everyone is doing now. Wenren Mo Yan spread his hands helplessly. And under his butt, it was the group of guys he didn't recognize just now. Looking at the beaten unconscious Jujutsu master, Wenren Mo Yan looked innocent. I have obviously done such a great thing, but you still want to beat me. It is really unjust. Wenren Mo Yan turned his gaze to Yaga Masamiki and pointed at the Jujutsu masters with arhats on their buttocks. Teacher, you have to testify to me that they were the ones who made the move first, and I was acting in self-defense. When the time comes they ask me to pay for their medical expenses, but I won't pay them. Yaga Masamiki looked embarrassed, after knowing the cause and effect of Wenren Moyan's appearance here. Yaga Masamiki didn't know what to say for a moment. After all, it's true that he heard people's words. One person wiped out three cancer curse master organizations. This has done a lot of harm to our Jujutsu community. And it also prevented the cracks in the barrier, which is a great achievement. You first level Jujutsu masters rashly attacked Wenren Moyan without understanding what was going on. It is indeed your own fault for being beaten. However, this was too brutal. I literally don't even know his mother anymore. I'm afraid these Jujutsu masters won't be able to get out of bed if they don't stay in the hospital for two months. But what Yaga Masamiki didn't expect the most was that Wen Ren Mo Yan was so powerful. Just by himself, he eradicated the three major curse master organizations. You must know that each of the leaders inside has very strange spells and extremely rare fields. Even if it were him, he would be in trouble against anyone on the other side. This is the fundamental reason why curse can never be destroyed. Not only because they can hide, but more importantly because they are very strong. A curse master with a domain and a curse master without a domain are completely different things. Gojo Satoru and Sha Yuji, who were watching the show on the sidelines, also noticed that Wenren Moyan was different. It seems that it has become stronger. He defeated several big three sorcerer families first level jujutsu masters like this with physical skills alone, and that was without using jujutsu. And observing Wenren Moyan's expression before, he seemed to be very at ease. It seemed like he was having fun. Even if the current Gojo Satoru wants to defeat several first level Jujutsu masters without using Jujutsu, it is impossible. Come on, let's go back and have midnight snack. Hearing Ren Mo Yan smiled happily. There's nothing I can do about it. People feel refreshed when happy events happen. With such a big harvest today, it's hard not to smile. Besides, since I have such great achievements, do I want a Sea View Villa or a Rolls Royce? Oh, it's so confusing. No, I'm so confused. Only children make choices. I want them all. 
Wenren Moyan strolled to Gojo Satoru and Sha Yuji and put his arms on their bodies. Jia, Wu, Elbow, I invite you to eat Elbow, a Chinese restaurant, there is Elbow in it. Sha Yuji nodded in agreement, and Gojo Satoru asked if there were any desserts in the Chinese restaurant. Wenren Mo Yan thought for a moment, Ziba, have you ever eaten it? Gojo Satoru shook his head, but he had eaten rice cakes. Wenren Mo said, that's almost the same, they are all made of glutinous rice. On the way, Wenren Moyan also asked if any of those annoying guys were from the Gojo family. Gojo Satoru said that he was sent by the Gojo family on this exploration mission. For the higher education institutions, Yaga Masamiki and Sha Yuji were sent. As for the others, they are naturally the Zenin family and the Kamo family. It's just that the two from the Kamo family were dragged in by the Zenin family. Originally, they were not prepared to take action at first, but they were taken in by the Zenin family. No wonder, the Zenin family feels like they are born with abnormal brains. Each one of them seems to be worth 250,000 to 80,000 yuan. Doesn't he know that I am a super? Wenren Moyan complained, although he rarely had contact with the Zenin family. But every time he came into contact with him, he felt that the Zenin family looked down upon Yabi. Wenren Moyan doesn't even know where their Zenineo is. If you say they are corrupt and look down on people without magic power, then forget it. My magic power is so surging, do you even look down on me? Could it be, do they still care about family background? Wenren Moyan thought for a while and thought that this should be the case. He had never seen anyone from the Zenin family disrespect Gojo Satoru. And I was born into a small family. No wonder he was slaughtered by his own people, he deserved it. The three of them stopped a taxi on the road and soon arrived at the Chinese restaurant. The Chinese restaurant is very large and has a strong Chinese style. The first impression I get is red, a particularly bright and bright red. The plaque on the door is embroidered with several magnificent Chinese characters, like dragons and phoenixes. At the gate there are two big red pillars hugged by two people, surrounded by a lifelike golden dragon. Of course, it is gold-plated, otherwise the golden dragon would have been stolen long ago. Entering the interior, it is very spacious and huge. It's more of a restaurant than a restaurant. The place was packed with seats, very lively and full of excitement. The restaurant has four floors, with the first floor receiving ordinary diners. VIPs are received on the second floor, important guests are received on the third floor, and the only large private room on the fourth floor is generally not open to the public. Of course, Wenren Mo Yan is an exception. Boss, you are here. Not long after Wenren Mo Yan walked into the restaurant, a man with a round face, fat head and big ears, who looked very well rounded, came over. He bowed to Wenren Mo Yan with a flattering look on his face. Wenren Mo Yan just nodded and let the man lead the way. Soon, under the leadership of the man, several people came to a large and spacious private room full of Chinese decoration style. The most eye-catching thing is the five-clawed Chinese dragon made of jade in the center of the huge dining table. It is very bright and beautiful under the light. The three of them were seated, and the snacks were quickly served by the beautiful service lady wearing a Chinese-style haircut and a chongsam. Immediately afterwards, several beautiful young women wearing aqua fairy skirts came into the room and performed elegant Chinese dances for the three of them. At this time, Yaga Masamiki was still on his way to the hospital, transporting the jujutsu masters who had been beaten into pig heads by Wenren Moyan. If he knew that the culprit was enjoying himself so much, I don't know what his expression would be. In the room, Sha Yuji looked at everything in front of him in shock. This is the first time he has seen such a scene. After all, he is not like Gojo Satoru. He never expected that he, who was usually carefree and carefree, could hide his words so deeply. Although Gojo Satoru was a little surprised, as the unofficial head of the Gojo family, he still encountered scenes of this level often. It's just that what he met was basically a small table with one person and a small amount of very delicate food on it. The most important thing is that the dances he watched were all about smearing your face with flour and shaking it with a fan. If it weren't for the obvious human characteristics of the opponent, Gojo Satoru would have thought it was a cursed spirit. Not long after, the table was filled with exquisite dishes, and the three of them started to feast. The pretty girl who performed also retreated. 
If Wen Ren Mo Yan wanted to, he could do whatever he wanted with those beautiful ladies. It's just that Wen Ren Moyan doesn't like it. Wen Ren Moyan also believed that Gojo Satoru and Sha Yuji didn't like him, so he didn't say such disappointing words. China, as the only remaining country in the world, has the oldest history. When it comes to gourmet food, it is also one of the best in the world. Soon, Gojo Satoru and Sha Yuji were conquered by the Chinese delicacies. Their mouths were full of oil and they were very satisfied. After all, as a neon person, it is rare for me to eat authentic Chinese food. Chinese chefs who come to neon will more or less make changes to cater to local tastes. The most famous is the General So's chicken in Taiwan, which is really a Chinese food that no one has ever heard of. It is specially designed to cater to the taste of Taiwan. However, this restaurant has not made any changes in taste to cater to local tastes. The main guests received are foreign workers from China. There are also foreigners who are curious about Chinese food and come to taste it. Restaurant cuisine includes Shandong, Sichuan, Cantonese, Jiangsu, Fujian, Zhejiang, Hunan and Anhui cuisine. Let every guest who comes here feel the taste of hometown. The first floor is for the general public, with a minimum consumption of 1,000 neon coins per person. The second floor usually receives guests with small assets. The minimum per capita consumption is 10,000 neon coins. Then there is the third level, which is usually about 50,000. The fourth floor usually receives Wenren Moyan or other very important guests. The treatment is the highest, and the price is naturally several times that of the third level, or even higher. It's just that Wenren Moyan usually doesn't give money. Soon, the dessert Gojo Satoru longed for was brought to the table by a beautiful waiter. Gojo Satoru couldn't wait to pick up a piece of chopsticks. The glutinous rice cake is golden in color, with a layer of soybean flour and brown sugar sprinkled on top. After one sip, the sweetness of brown sugar and the aroma of soybean powder merged, creating a big explosion in Gojo Satoru's taste buds. Gojo Satoru had a happy and contented expression on his face. Delicious, so delicious. It's unique, it's really unique. Crispy on the outside and tender on the inside, leaving a fragrant flavor on your lips and teeth. Gojo Satoru kept pushing the glutinous rice cake into his mouth with chopsticks. After a while, the whole plate of glutinous rice cakes was completely wiped out by Gojo Satoru. After eating, Gojo Satoru licked his lips. That's right, it's the expression of wanting another serving. Wenren Moyan waved and asked the waiter to bring another order. But was stopped by Gojo Satoru. Wenren Moyan was confused, what's wrong? Gojo Satoru paused, as if thinking about what was wrong with the taste just now. Suddenly, Gojo Satoru had an idea and his eyes lit up. That's right, it's not sweet enough. Wenren Mo Yan looked confused. This wasn't sweet enough. How sweet was this boy's usual food? But thinking about it carefully, the desserts Gojo Satoru ate were really greasy and even bitter. Only Gojo Satoru, a serious dessert lover, can bear it. Then Gojo Satoru came up with his idea of filling the glutinous rice cake with brown sugar. Not only does this take the sweetness to the next level, but it also has a bursting feeling. Wenren Moyan was shocked by the idea of Gojo Satoru. The already great dishes were quite interesting when he made them like this. Just, would it be too sweet? Most people can't bear it. The thought of adding sugar inside the glutinous rice cake was such an out-of-the-box idea that Gojo Satoru could only come up with. Hearing Ren Moyan couldn't help but laugh. But just when Wenren Moyan was about to ask the waiter to serve the dishes according to Gojo Satoru's ideas, he suddenly froze. Yes, why can't I continue to understand the spells I have already mastered, or combine several spells together to obtain a more powerful and magical spell? At this moment, Wenren Moyan seemed to have opened the door to a new world. A steady stream of inspiration comes from my mind. His thoughts have always been limited to that inch of heaven and earth. It's about understanding the opponent's technique. Then why can't I understand my own technique? When Ren Mo Yan was so excited that if he hadn't been eating right now, he would have burst into laughter. Today is really my lucky day. Not only has his strength skyrocketed, he has conquered so many powerful cursed spirits. It also opens up a new path for the future. Now Wenren Moyan was no longer in the mood to continue eating or staying. 
He found a random excuse and left the room, returning to his room at Jujutsu High School. Cultivation and understanding began. Two days later, everything was settled. It has been confirmed that all three curse masters, curse, have been annihilated. Everyone in the Jujutsu world has to remember the name Wenren Moyan. Hear people's words and become famous. Jujutsu High School, today, the sun is shining brightly and it is a little hot. In spring everything revives, in summer everything grows, and it's time again for the animals. We made a mistake. At this time, Wenren Moyan and Gojo Satoru were playing basketball on the basketball court. Jia, Wenren, have you heard? We are going to have a junior junior and junior girl soon. On the basketball court, Gojo Satoru, who was playing basketball, said excitedly. It was finally his turn to be called senior, and the thought of it made him feel happy. I heard about it, but she's not a junior, but a junior. It seems he is an amateur jujutsu master discovered among the people. One is named Nanami Kento and the other is Yuhaibara. Amateur, commonly known as having no background, doesn't matter. Sha Yuji replied while playing ball. Listening to the conversation between the two, Wenren Moyan sighed in his heart. Nanami Kento, hi how are you? Time flies so fast, it's already the Waiyu chapter. Speaking of which, I have been in this world for 16 years. Wenren Moyan couldn't help but reminisce about his own prosperous years. Well, it's not extraordinary, it's just an ordinary life for most people. Kindergarten, elementary school students, junior high school students, high school students, don't ask me why there are no college students, because I traveled through time before college. Compared to the peaceful life in his previous life, Wenren Moyan still prefers the present. Extraordinary strength, handsome face. If he didn't already have a name, I would have called him Long Aotian. After the three of them finished playing basketball, they went into the public bathhouse to take a bath. Sha Yuji and Gojo Satoru even rub each other's backs. This relationship is so good. After taking a shower, several people saw Yaga Masamiki. When Wenren Moyan saw Yaga Masamiki, he thought he was on a mission at first and couldn't wait to join him. Unlike ordinary people, ordinary students have winter and summer vacations. Strictly speaking, students at Jujutsu High School do not have winter or summer vacations, and they even have very few vacations. If there are tasks, they have to carry out them. There is no freedom in life. Of course, if you become a free bounty Jujutsu master like Mei Mei, that would be fine too. The premise is that your strength must be strong enough. Wen Ren, come with me. Yaga Masamiki looked serious, wearing sunglasses and said to Wenren Moyan. Although Wenren Moyan didn't know what was going on, he still followed Yaga Masamiki and left Jujutsu High School. In the car, Yaga Masamiki crossed his hands with a look of joy on his face. Wenren Moyan, congratulations, you have been received by the adults in the Jujutsu world. Oh, is it a commendation meeting? Wenren Moyan's eyes shone, as if the incense car and treasure were right in front of him. Although Wenren Moyan is not short of money, who would think it is too much? Besides, I have made such a great contribution and this is what I deserve. A few hours later, Wenren Moyan came to a huge mountain villa. Yaga Masamiki was dismissed. Under the guidance of a jujutsu master, Wenren Moyan came to a mysterious room. The room was dark, only an oil lamp was lit. The next moment, Wenren Moyan felt like the world was spinning, as if he had arrived in another space. Curtain. Wenren Moyan was a little surprised, but it was right after thinking about it carefully. It's normal for those senior executives to be willing to sacrifice their lives and engage in so many tricks. By the way, it can put some psychological pressure on the coming jujutsu master. To put it bluntly, they are just a fig leaf used by a group of people who have not even reached the quasi-special level to cover up their lack of strength and the rights of those in higher positions. In the room, the environment was dim, with only an oil lamp squeezing the darkness, and a few screens could be vaguely seen with the naked eye. Behind the screen are those old Biden who have been corrupted by power in the Jujutsu world. When Ren Mo Yan sensed something was wrong from the moment he walked in. It seemed like there were countless pairs of greedy eyes staring at me, which made me feel very unhappy. The awards are given out, and the commendation conference is just the commendation conference. What's the mystery? Wenren Moyan complained in his heart, but soon realized the problem. 
It can't be the Hongmen banquet, right? Wenren Mo Yan raised his eyebrows and raised his lips slightly. If you want to mess with me, that would be fun. Wenren Moyan secretly activated the All Souls observation technique and found that there was a restriction blocking it. But how could a mere restriction block Wenren Moyan's All Souls observation technique? Eyes that only Wenren Mo Yan could see and detect appeared everywhere in the room. I saw a few old men who were too old to be old, sitting cross legged behind the screen, with burning greed in their eyes. Only the upper management of the Gojo family was not seen. Did the senior officials of the Gojo family specially set aside the Hongmen banquet specially prepared for me? The so-called Jujutsu senior leaders are mostly people from the big three sorcerer families, and a small number are other Jujutsu masters. And the Inawan clan of Wenren Moyan happened to become a subsidiary clan of the Gojo family. After all, Wenren Moyan was able to reach the level of a quasi-special level Jujutsu master without any obstacles, all because a highly respected jujutsu master in the Gojo family paved the way for him. Otherwise, he will definitely be suppressed by other sorcerer families and senior officials. You are a little known brat from a small family, but you still want to be a quasi special. Doesn't this make us big three sorcerer families incompetent? But what does it have to do with me, Wenren Moyan, to be a vassal of the Gowan clan? My surname is Wenren, not Gowan. It's impossible to order me. The top management of the Gojo family naturally understands that geniuses have the arrogance of geniuses, not to mention that Wenren Moyan is very powerful. Therefore, Wenren Moyan was introduced to enter a high school and Gojo Satoru was his classmate. In this way, everyone becomes a family. What an order or something, it's so ugly. This is mutual help between close friends. If your friend is in trouble, you can't help him. In this way, the Gojo family successfully bound Wenren Moyan, the future super combat power, to their warship. If Sha Yuji doesn't turn black in the future, Wenren Moyan and Gojo Satoru will be added. Their Gojo family's warship will have three special level Jujutsu divisions, becoming the strongest force in the Jujutsu world. When the time comes, let the beautiful women from the Gojo family marry Wenren Moyan and Sha Yuji. Even if I don't need any status, it's just a one night long supper. How gifted the offspring will be. What bullshit. Kamo, Zenin, in front of the Gojo family who have three top level Jujutsu masters. Rubbish. Wenren Moyan knew the Gojo family's intentions very well. But Wenren Moyan felt that this transaction was not a loss. Because, he and Gojo Satoru are close friends. Gojo Satoru often picks wool from his body. When close friends kill each other, isn't that a bloody drama? And when he hears people's ink words, he hates bullshit the most. That's why she pretended not to understand and didn't accept Yutahime's feelings. Because Yutahime is too weak, if he wants to be his Wenren Moyan partner, he must be strong. So powerful that no one can use her as a bargaining chip to blackmail Wenren Moyan. So powerful that it arrogates the entire Jujutsu world. Wenren Moyan didn't want the people he was close to to threaten him because he was used as a bargaining chip by the enemy. It caused me a lot of pain inside. If nothing else, future Fushiguro Megumi is an example. My dearest sister was being, but I was helpless, it was so bloody, so bloody. Playing with knives like this, one-eyed cat, aren't you afraid of giving birth to a son without an asshole? He Wenren Moyan would never allow such a thing to happen. Even if it happens, he will never be passive when he hears people's words. Anyone who stands in my way will be killed. No one can stop your path, not even your parents. Even his best friends Gojo Satoru and Sha Yuji. Anyway, if you kill them, Wenren Moyan's backhand will be a curse, letting them become cursed spirits to accompany you forever. Such behavior is really crazy, but Jujutsu Master, who is not crazy? And he who heard Mo Yan is the strongest and biggest madman. As for Nanami's jujutsu master being she, the she king Wen Ren Mo Yan decided to give it to Gojo Satoru. Seeing that the atmosphere in the room was a bit strange, Wen Ren Mo Yan was the first to speak to break the quiet atmosphere. The weather is so nice today, and the cicadas are starting to scream too. Everyone here, why don't we go out and enjoy some sunshine? Look at the bright sunshine and talk about the reward for my contribution this time. I don't ask too much, just give me a billion or 80 yuan, and a few luxury cars and a few apartments in the city center. I know a great outdoor tea shop. 
I'll treat you to it. Wenren Moyan's playful and relaxed answer made Jujutsu High School feel embarrassed for a while. This kid was not intimidated by their domineering aura. If Wenren Moyan knew their inner thoughts, he would definitely curl his lips and sneer at them. You're the only one who still acts like a tyrant. You're no different than that big in Gojo's backyard. After a moment of silence, Zenin, the senior executive of Jujutsu, spoke. As the hidden leader of the Zenin family, he is very envious, jealous and hates the Gojo family. I envy them for having such an excellent heir. Hate them, the Zenin family has not even had an heir to inherit the ten shadow spells for so many years. For the sake of his family, he needs that legendary sword to suppress their clan's fate. To this end, he teamed up with the top management of the Kamo family. The purpose was to force Wenren Mo Yan to hand over the Water Dragon Sword. In order to obtain the right to use the Water Dragon Sword, the Zenin family paid a high price. But as long as you succeed, it's all worth it. Because it was the Water Dragon Sword that was rumored to be used as a personal sword by the three generations of China's destiny emperors. A thousand years ago, a sword pierced Tamamo Mei's heart. No one knows what kind of terrifying power it contains. The weird atmosphere reached a fever pitch again, and everyone's greed began to spread. Of course these rewards are available, we are willing to add ten times more rewards. Zenin's voice was low and seemed very oppressive in the darkness. But, you need to hand over the water dragon sword. It is a treasure that belongs to the entire Jujutsu world. Then what if I say no? When Ren Mo Yan smiled proudly and looked around, realizing that the person hiding in the darkness was not a human being. But they are ambitious and greedy wolves. Their eyes flashed with a green light, and they wished they could eat Wenren Moyan clean. But what they don't know is that the young man in front of them is not a lamb to be slaughtered, but a dragon that they cannot afford to offend. Soon, they will pay a heavy price for their stupidity and greed. Ha 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 ha. When Renmo's words aroused the laughter of Jujutsu's top brass. Do you think you have the right to say no? Are you disobeying us? Boy, you are still young. There are some things you cannot control. I'll give you ten times the reward, just for the sake of the Gojo family. Okay, hand over the water dragon sword quickly. Today, you must hand over this water dragon sword. These things cannot be owned by one person. You have the ability to get it, but you can't keep it. Wen Ren Mo Yan smiled slightly, with contempt in his eyes, and glanced around. Wen Ren Mo Yan immediately summoned the cursed spirit and took out the water dragon sword. The water dragon sword is here. If you are able, come and get it. Looking at the water dragon sword floating next to Wen Ren Mo Yan, exuding a golden halo. Looking at such a beautiful water dragon sword, everyone's greedy eyes became even more intense. One of the senior executives couldn't help but take action. A big hand made of purple magic power grabbed the water dragon sword beside Wenren Moyan without hesitation, trying to take it for himself. But just when the big hand was about to touch the water dragon sword, the water dragon sword seemed to sense something. With a bang, the water dragon sword broke out of its sheath. In an instant, golden sword light spread across the sky, and several sharp golden lights flashed past. It briefly cut out a few rays of light in the dark room, as if it could even cut through the darkness. The big hand where the magic power was condensed suddenly broke, and then exploded. On the other side, a few streaks of blood were scattered on the screen, a few fingers could be vaguely seen flying out, and a senior executive let out a wailing scream. Jujutsu's top executives all showed expressions of shock and then anger. They never thought that the young man in front of them would dare to resist them. Wen Ren Mo Yan, you are really brave. You actually dare to publicly harm members of Jujutsu's senior management. You are punishable. That's right, even the Gojo family can't protect you now. Kill me. Hearing Ren Mo Yan smiled coldly. Come. After saying that, Wen Ren Mo Yan's curse was no longer hidden. The abyss and sea of spell power pour out like a celestial river. It's like a natural disaster and tsunami, sweeping across all directions and swallowing up mountains and rivers. The fierce spell power turned into a strong wind, directly bursting the curtains of the room. It blew several people around, as if they were a small boat on the sea, drifting with the current. Kill me. I am a special jujutsu master, whoever dares to kill me can kill me. Wenren Moyan's eyes were joking, and he stared at all the jujutsu executives present with a cold look. 
At this time, the top management of Jujutsu showed their ugly faces, and their eyes changed from the arrogance just now to fear. They thought that Wenren Moyan was a soft persimmon who was easy to bully, and without the protection of the Gojo family, he could be manipulated by others. Unexpectedly, it turned out to be a steel ball covered with steel thorns. I didn't eat the meat, and my mouth was hurt. Special grade, it can subvert the existence of a country. If it's a quasi-special level, they can work together to win it, overwhelming others with force. But in the face of absolute power, their so-called power and status are so worthless. Now, it was Wenren Moyan's turn to speak. Let's talk about this award. Just give me ten times the reward you just said. Do you have any opinions? Wenren Moyan summoned a bunch of weird cursed spirits to form a high cursed spirit throne. Wen Ren Mo Yan sat lazily on the throne, looking down at everyone in the room like an emperor. In Wen Ren Mo Yan's eyes, these old guys are just a bunch of corrupt, power hungry ants with rubbish strength. If they weren't still of great value, Wenren Moyan would have killed them long ago. Still want to kill me? What to kill, mouth, or they filled the brain and thoughts of the defense. Speaking of which, let them try their own defense. Wen Ren Mo Yan was amused, but quickly rejected the idea. He didn't want to talk to a group of people who were full of answers later. The terrifying coercion emanating from Wen Ren Moyan made the Jujutsu executives present feel like there was a huge mountain weighing on their hearts. Don't dare to disobey, don't dare to be presumptuous. However, there is always someone who wants to stand out and show off his presence. Wen Ren Moyan, haven't you ever thought about your parents and friends? A jujutsu executive who did not know whether to live or die threatened. Wenren Mo Yan smiled nonchalantly and said, If you want to kill, just kill him. My parents live at Gojo's house. Don't you old guys know that? And my friends, go ahead, Gojo Satoru and Sha Yuji, if you dare to kill them, go ahead. As for you, I remember that your family has hundreds of people. Do you think, if I want to kill them, who can stop me? Wenren Mo Yan showed a ferocious smile, which made everyone present shudder. Madman, the young man in front of me is a complete lunatic. He doesn't even care about his biological parents. To be an enemy of this kind of person is simply to have a toilet in your head and get in trouble. And the family is playing into the hands of these half-buried old guys. They were meant to die, and their family was their only thought. Now, it's their turn to calm Wenren Mo Yan's anger. Wenren Moyan made a condition that surprised everyone present. No way, half the industry. Even if you kill us, we can't give you half of our property. At most 10%. No more. The operation of our family also requires a huge industry to maintain. Yi Chung, are you sending the beggar away? Wenren Moyan's tone was unhappy and contained sullenness. Wenren Moyan was not satisfied with the compensation offered by Jujutsu's top management. You won't give me a satisfactory result today. I'm going to kill your whole family now. The worst case scenario is that I will take my parents and move away. When the time comes, you can slowly dig graves for your descendants. Do you believe it? Wenren Mo's words were fierce, his eyes were cold, and his face was expressionless, as if to say that he meant what he said. He is betting that these old guys dare not bet with him. 30%, at most 30%. Zenin, who had been silent for a long time, finally said, this is his bottom line. He also believed that Wenren Moyan would not dare to do such a thing as massacre. Don't be afraid of 10,000, just be afraid of the worst. After all, where is the opponent's strength, it's better to cut off the flesh to ensure safety. Immediately, the Kamo family also expressed their willingness to give away 30% of the assets of the Kamo family to compensate Wenren Moyan. Upon hearing this answer, Wenren Mo Yan's eyes lit up and he sneered in his heart. It is true that the older a person is, the less courageous he becomes. Of course, if they dare to bet, Wenren Mo Yan will let them feel what it means for a white-haired person to send a black-haired person. I wonder if they will exhaust themselves to death when they build tombs for their descendants. By then, I'm afraid there won't even be a junior to collect the corpses, which would be funny. Later, other Jujutsu executives also expressed their willingness. The next second, Wen Ren Mo Yan immediately changed his face. The throne of cursed spirit dispersed. Wen Ren Mo Yan also changed from the aloof, cold and domineering look just now. He became lively and enthusiastic, 
looking like a sunny boy, and began to greet several people at Jujutsu High School. Ouch, why are you guys sitting on the ground? Get up quickly. It's so cold on the ground. Don't get upset at night. When are we going to sign the transfer contract? Looking at Wen Ren Mo Yan's triumphant expression, the few people present felt their hearts bleed. Especially the Zenin family, which lost both their wives and their troops. Maybe I'm really old. Zenin lamented that the failure of this incident made him disheartened, and he was ready to completely delegate power and let his son Naoto take over the Zenin family. Oh, Grandpa, who broke your finger? You really don't understand how to respect the elderly and love the young. Wenrin Moyan shouted, and the next second, he appeared in front of the Jujutsu executive whose fingers were cut off by the water dragon sword. At this time, the Jujutsu executive was still picking up his scattered fingers miserably. I just finished picking it up and am going to take ice cubes to refrigerate it. It seems I won't have time to take it back. Although I am old, I still want to be buried with my body intact. But before he had time, he was spotted by the evil star. Wenrin Moyan grabbed the hand of the Jujutsu executive and snatched away the bloody fingers. Several people in the surrounding Jujutsu senior management were shocked. What do you want to do? We have agreed to your request, what else do you want to do? In the face of everyone's astonishment, Wenren Moyan's absolute strength made them dare not act rashly. Wenren Moyan didn't say much. Instead, he used a reversal technique to reattach the severed finger of the Jujutsu executive. Jujutsu executives who saw this scene were speechless and showed surprised expressions. Reversal of spells. It's still a reversal technique that can heal others. You know, in the entire Jujutsu world, there are only a handful of Jujutsu masters who can comprehend the reversal technique. You can count them on one hand. Even if they are old guys who have practiced for a lifetime, none of them can understand the reversal technique. Even throughout the Jujutsu world, there are Jujutsu masters who can use reversal techniques to heal others. There is only one, and that is Jujutsu High School, a student at the same time as Wenren Moyen, Ieri Shoko. Even if these old guys are rotten and stupid, they still understand that the value of Ieri Shoko is even higher than that of a special level Jujutsu master. After all, who doesn't get hurt sometimes? And Ieri Shoko, who can use reversal surgery to treat others, is the best surgeon in the world, bar none. It's no wonder that when Ieri Shoko grew up, she had a pair of panda eyes all day long, which were all due to the high-intensity work. Even Gojo Satoru, the strongest person in modern times, and Sha Yuji, the super level 1, cannot use reversal techniques to heal others. Even in Wenrin Moyan's memory, Sha Yuji didn't seem to even understand the reversal technique. Otherwise, there would be no way to fight Okatsu Yuta and he would die and be seriously injured. No matter what, I can still breastfeed. Could it be that when he faced the wave, he didn't leave any magic healing power? It should be very possible. Anyway, when Ren Mo Yan didn't see any sign that Sha Yuji had understood the reversal technique. Looking at his connected fingers, the Jujutsu executive tried to move his fingers. There was actually no feeling of discomfort at all. It's like it's not broken at all. This is medically impossible. Everyone looked at Wen Ren Mo Yan not with the resentment and hatred just now, but with desire. What family doesn't want a wet nurse? Although there are sometimes one or two Jujutsu masters who prefer healing in their family. But in this aspect of treatment, the reverse technique must be quick, convenient and effective. For a moment, the eyes of Jujutsu executives looking at Wen Ren Moyan began to soften. They understand that in this world, there are no eternal enemies, only eternal interests. This is why Wenren Moyan wants to treat this senior executive to show his unique value. Although he Wenren Moyan is not afraid of these old guys, if he kills them, the entire Jujutsu world will be in chaos, and he will become a public enemy of the Jujutsu world. Kill them, now is not the time. His power hasn't risen yet, but when it does, he will dominate the entire Jujutsu world after hearing people's words. As for the senior management of Jujutsu, although they were defrauded of 30% of their assets by Wenren Moyan. But essentially, if they hadn't been greedy, such a thing wouldn't have happened. This was the first time in their lives that they had seen such an outstanding and talented Jujutsu master. Even Gojo's six eyes may not have as much talent as the person in front of him. 
There were even two senior executives who had the urge to add another 10% of their assets in exchange for a loan from Wenren Moyan. You must know that Jujutsu masters are born with Jujutsu, and 80% of their strength is innate. The stronger the bloodline, the stronger the offspring will be. Therefore, only the bloodline of the Gojo family can give birth to six eyes, the bloodline of the Zenin family can give birth to the ten shadow spells, and the bloodline of the Kamo family can use the red blood technique. It is very likely that Sha Yuji's descendants will inherit his Jujutsu cursed spirit technique. This is why Itadori Yuji, the protagonist of Jujutsu, can only fight with Taijutsu and Black Flash. Because he has no technique himself, and the technique cannot be learned. Even when Wenren Moyan understood a new technique, the technique was directly engraved in his body and mind. By the way, I want to commend the conference. When it was about to end, Wenren Moyan suddenly said something. The corners of the mouths of the senior guys at Jujutsu twitched unconsciously. I thought in my mind that this kid had talked about the commendation meeting when he came in before. It's almost time to leave now, and there's still a commendation meeting. Although they didn't know the other party's intentions, the senior management readily agreed. After all, Wenren Moyan had just wiped out three major curse master organizations two days ago. It also solved Lord Tianyuan's crisis. It can be said to be a great achievement, and everyone in the Jujutsu world knows about it. If the senior people at Jujutsu don't express their opinions, it won't appear that they are too stingy. How can they make their subordinates work hard for them? And the reward this time is so generous, even if when Renmo doesn't mention it, they will arrange it. After all, that's 10 billion. Plus 10 properties and luxury cars in Tokyo and Kyoto. The total amount is probably over 20 billion. You must know that we, the money-loving fan Mei Mei, have only saved 50 billion after working for so many years. I've only been hearing people's ink words for a long time, and it's almost half a lifetime. But Wenren Moyan didn't think as much as these senior old guys thought. He just wants to be in the limelight. Enjoy the way everyone admires and admires you, and is envious and jealous of you. It is impossible to be low-key, and even if Wenren Moyan wants to be low-key, it is impossible to be low-key. When everything was over and everything was discussed, Wenren Moyan walked out of this strange room. When they came outside, before they had gone far, a Jujutsu master appeared in front of Wenren Moyan. I very respectfully invite Wenren Moyan to tell you something. Wenren Moyan was also a little curious, so he agreed. Under the guidance of the Jujutsu master, Wenren Moyan twisted left and right, leading to a secluded place, and arrived at a room. Wenren Moyan walked into the room and saw an old man at first sight. I don't know if the head of the Kamo family came to see me. What's the matter? Wenren Moyan recognized the old man in front of him at a glance. He was one of the senior people in the room just now and he was also the current head of the Kamo family. The head of the Kamo family smiled, invited Wenren Moyan to sit down, and made tea for Wenren Moyan very hospitably. Wenren Moyan did not drink tea, but sat down without saying a word and kept staring at the head of the Kamo family. Wenren Moyan was not afraid of being poisoned by the head of the Kamo family. After all, poison could not kill him. Instead, he wondered why the old Baidang was so polite to him and what kind of medicine was being sold in the gourd. He Wenren Moyan had just cut out a large piece of meat from his hand. Even if he didn't hate me to death, I would have to admire him for the ability of the prime minister to support a boat. But the next second, the words of the head of the Kamo family caused Wenren Moyan's head to freeze. What? Borrowing? Who do you think I am, Wenren Moyan? Wen Ren Mo Yan snorted coldly, with a look of displeasure on his face. Hey, little friend Wen Ren, please be patient. I'm willing to offer you one billion. No, two billion. How about that? As he spoke, the head of the Kamo family took out his cell phone and flipped through the photos for Wen Ren Mo Yan. This is the flower of our clan. Look, she has a beautiful figure and outstanding talents. She is already rated as a first level jujutsu master at the age of 15. In the mobile phone, there is an elegant and heroic girl wearing a white kimono, a red kimono and a ponytail, taking aim with a bow. She is truly a one-of-a-kind beauty. In her previous life, she was definitely a goddess that the general public could only hope to achieve. Wenren Moyan glanced at it and answered directly, leaving the head of the Kamo family speechless. 
Good looking is good looking. I would give it 95 for looks of 100, but. Head of the Kamo family, but what? It's not big enough. Wen Ren Mo Yan glanced at the ordinary and unremarkable person in the photo. Maybe it's because the clothes are too loose, but clothes can't cover a really good figure. I have very high standards. My little friend, what do you mean? The head of the Kamo family frowned. Wenren Moyan wanted to blurt out a sentence that would cost more, which was more suitable for the occasion. But he still held it back and said, Thank you for your kindness. I am a traditional person. Farewell. After that, Wenren Moyan ran away, and even later the head of the Kamo family directly raised the price to 5 billion. Wenren Moyan was shocked, how rich is the Kamo family of maid? I'm not a bride-in-law, and you gave me 5 billion. If I were a bride-in-law, wouldn't it be worth a plum? Mei Mei has worked hard for more than 10 years and has a deposit of 50 billion, so Mei Mei here refers to 50 billion. After Wenren Mo Yan came out, he was invited to another room. The results speak for themselves. After a while, Wenren Mo Yan walked out of the room with a bad expression. Hey, little friend, we can negotiate the price. Wenren Moyan was extremely speechless. What do you think of him, a stallion? Please, you can be regarded as the long Aeotian of my harem novel. This is an insult and trample on his character. Until Wenren Moyan was personally stopped by Zenin's former head of the family, Zenin Naoto. After offering a price of 10 billion, only when I heard Mo Yan did I understand what it means to be so wealthy. No wonder when Fu Hei Shir sold his son, the people of Zenin increased the price. It seems that Fu Hei Shir has no idea how rich his family is. You must know that this is 2006. According to conversion, 10 billion is equivalent to 500 million Chinese coins. What was the concept of 500 million at that time? What Wenren Moyan didn't actually know was that whether it was Neon's government or Neon's economy, there was the shadow of Jujutsu masters behind it. This is why every time Jujutsu Division performs a mission, it can always quickly evacuate the crowd and clean up the scene. As for Neon's four major Chable groups, the real power holders behind the scenes are actually the Big Three Sorcerer families. Not only that, the Big Three Sorcerer families also have many investments and industries overseas. How can they not be rich? And because of the existence of Jujutsu Masters, the Neon Lights in this world don't have any so-called fungus daddies. It is the third largest economy in the world after China and China. He is very wealthy and has a strong voice in the world. The only thing that hasn't changed is the war of aggression against China decades ago. Originally, Neon was not prepared to participate in that war. The war has done no good to the Jujutsu divisions, only harm. No one is more peace-loving than Master Jujutsu, let alone Neon, who is secretly controlled by Master Jujutsu. Because once the war starts and the people complain, the number of cursed spirits will increase sharply. And except for Neon, children born with the qualifications of Jujutsu masters are extremely rare for some reason. Less than 1% of Neon. So fighting, war, the Jujutsu division hates it the most. Taking away other people's territory and resources does not enhance the power of their Jujutsu world. So they just want to guard their one-third of an acre of land. But I don't know why, the neons of this world still launched a war of aggression against China. This is no longer a thankless thing, but it has greatly damaged neons national strength and the foundation of the jujutsu world. It is very stupid. But the jujutsu community still did it, and I heard that there was support from Tianyuan. It's like there is a pair of invisible hands controlling everything. The only thing that changed was that neon didn't eat the little boy. At the end of the war, the Neon Army decisively withdrew from the Chinese territory. It was like a heavy hammer that woke up the confused and numb Chinese lion. Let the dragon of China wake up again and stand proudly in the east of the world. Wenren Moyan and Yaga Masamiki returned to Jujutsu High School. A few days later, the commendation meeting was held. Wenren Moyan not only received 10 billion rewards and other rewards in public, but also received the envious looks of many Jujutsu masters. Privately, he also received assets from Jujutsu executives. You won't know until you see it, but you will be shocked when you see it. Hear people's words and get rich immediately. In the end, Wenren Moyan was also awarded the qualification of a special Jujutsu master.
You must know that in the current Jujutsu world and even the world, there is only one super Jujutsu master, and that is Yuki Kujutsu. And now, the second special level Jujutsu master, Wenren Moyen, has appeared. At night, under the dim moonlight, Wenren Moyen returned to the dormitory of Jujutsu High School. Originally, with his worth, he could have built a large mansion nearby. But Wenren Moyen didn't do that. He liked the atmosphere of Jujutsu High School. Because every night Gojo Satoru and Sha Yuji come to play with him. Even Wenren Mo Yan often saw these two guys coming out of the same room in the morning. Something is wrong. These two are really passionate. No wonder they both thought of each other in the last moments of their lives. It was so touching. This is the fried dough sticks combination. In the room, Wenren Mo Yan separated his mind and came to his cursed spirit space. As soon as we entered, we found that the entire cursed spirit space had undergone major changes. Originally it was just a void, gray space. At this time, there are green mountains and green waters, blue sky and white clouds, and lush trees. There is even a sun, and its area has expanded many times. The body of the Yamada no Orochi, as big as a hill, was lazily basking in the sun. Tamamo Mei is admiring flowers, and the Datengu is meditating, although he doesn't know if it can increase his strength. At this time, Ghostface was being ordered around by his former boss Da Kitchen to do this and that. Seeing Wen Ren Mo Yan appear in the cursed spirit space, Ghostface burst into tears, hugged Wen Ren Mo Yan and began to cry. Wow, boss, you're finally here, they bullied me. As a result, the next second, he was kicked away by a small figure. Taking a closer look, it was the little girl who was rescued from the magic circle last time. Master, master, you finally came to see me. The Loon family misses you so much. Looking at the woman in front of me, she was wearing a white dress, black hair, and eyes like black gems. She is a cute little girl with a pink face and a pink face. Wenren Moyen felt like his heart was about to turn into cuteness. So cute. Wenren Moyen picked up the little girl and gave her a hug. It's so cute, so smooth and moist, and it smells like milk. My daughter will be so cute in the future. After Wenren Mo Yan rubbed the little girl's head, he realized that he had forgotten to name the little girl. Just ask the little girl what name she wants. But the little girl replied, Master, I have a name. My name is Queen Hades. Queen of the Underworld, a good name, a good name. Wenren Moyan smiled and stroked the little girl's head, not noticing anything was wrong at all. Queen of Hades. After hearing Ren Moyan, I realized later that I took a deep breath when I heard this name. After all, the word, Queen of the Underworld, and the situation when Wenren Moyan saved the little girl. Hiss, it's not easy. If you look closely, you can see that the special level cursed spirits are headed by a little girl, as if she is the strongest among them. You must know that the special ones here include Tamamo no Mei and Yamada no Orochi, who are almost synonymous with terrifying power in Neon. But, so what, as long as it is Cursed Spirit, in front of the unlimited Cursed Spirit speech skills of Wenren Moyan, I can only surrender. For Wenren Moyan, the older the little girl was, the stronger she was, and the more complicated her identity, the more excited he became. Fear. The word fear did not exist in his Wenren Moyan dictionary. Wen Ren Mo Yan looked at Queen Ming, who was not even taller than her own waist, and did not feel that she posed any threat to her at all. On the contrary, Wen Ren Mo Yan liked her very much. After all, cuteness is justice. Long live cuteness. Even Wen Ren Mo Yan cannot avoid the power of cuteness. After being intimate with the underworld queen for a while, Wen Ren Mo Yan suddenly noticed that the other person seemed to be much taller than a few days ago. If Wen Ren Mo Yan saw Queen Ming for the first time, she looked 8 or 9 years old. He is at least 11 or 12 years old now. Wen Ren Mo Yan was slightly surprised, but carefully recalled the situation at that time. After the Queen of Hades absorbed the blood pool in the realm of birth, she grew up a little. Wen Ren Mo Yan did not delve into this issue, and there was no need to delve into it. For Wenren Moyan, the stronger his cursed spirit is, the more benefits he will gain and the stronger his strength will be. He couldn't wait for the cursed spirits to become stronger. The main thing he came here today was to experiment with the new technique he had recently learned. Ghost face, come with me. Wenren Moyan gestured to the ghost face and then returned to the real world. 
Hearing people's ink words, the curtains were lowered in an instant. Wenrin Moyan's room seemed to be covered with a layer of black cloth, cutting off everything outside. Looking at the burly and gigantic ghost face in front of him, he looked like a little giant. Wenrin Moyan felt that if Gimian played in the NBA with this body type, he would not be allowed to kill indiscriminately. Master, what orders do you have from me? Ghostface said respectfully. Wenrin Mo Yan raised his eyebrows and chuckled, Why, don't call me boss anymore. The ghost face was a little frightened and embarrassed, and he smiled. I have been bullied by boss kitchen every day recently, so I can say it smoothly. Wenrin Moyan glanced at Ghost Face, even though he was the special cursed spirit that he had conquered at the beginning. But now it is the weakest among several special level cursed spirits. It's not that he is too weak, it's that those few super ones are ridiculously strong. Not to mention Tamamo Mei and the others. For example, Chi Chen was a master who was able to turn defeat into victory and escape despite being surrounded and suppressed by several first level Jujutsu masters. Not to mention the strength after becoming Cursed Spirit. When Ren Mo Yan didn't say much, he just asked Ghost Face what he wanted. Ghost Face immediately replied, hoping that Kitchen and the others would stop bullying him and dictating to him. After all, he is also his master's number one horse boy. Ghost Face believed that the master would still agree to his request. As a result, the next second, when Ren Moyan's answer made Ghost Face confused. I mean, do you want me to make your body look more handsome or ugly? Ghostface looked confused. After Wen Ren Mo Yan's explanation, Ghostface finally understood that the master wanted to fabricate a human body for himself. Technique. Hand of God. Wen Ren Mo Yan used the cursed tool creation technique he learned from Yaga Masamiki and the cursed tool creation technique he learned from Asami Eka. A brand new technique learned through the Golden Fingers' incredible understanding. It has a very strange but magical power that turns decay into magical horror. It can even be given a cursed spirit so that the human body cannot be discovered by Jujutsu masters. But now, Ghost Face has become Wenrin Moyan's first guinea pig. There is no other reason, because the Ghost Face is the weakest and the easiest to change. At this time, Ghost Face didn't realize the problem yet, he just felt that he was wrapped in happiness. Sure enough, the master loves me, and the first thing I think of is myself. I cried to death. The one moved by the ghost face cried bitterly, and almost gave up his heart, going up mountains of swords and seas of fire for Wenrin Mo Yan. Dedicate yourself to the end of your life and die. But as long as Wenrin Mo Yan is alive, ghost face cannot be eliminated. This is one of the unlimited cursed spirit abilities. Okay, tell me your request. Wenrin Moyan looked at the ghost face with tears in his eyes and was so moved that he couldn't control himself, and felt a little goosebumps. After all, can you imagine a big monster with half green face, half red face, ghost face and fangs crying to you? Just think about it, eh? Goosebumps fell all over the place. Ghost face nodded excitedly and stated his request. After hearing ghost face's request, Wenrin Moyan was as expected. To sum it up in three words tall, big and handsome. The most important thing is that it's big. Afterwards, Wenrin Moyan activated the technique. All the mantra power in his body was mobilized and concentrated on Wenrin Moyan's slender hands. The originally dark red and cold spell power became colorful and gorgeous, as warm as the sun, under the influence of Wenren Moyan. Soon, the ghost face was wrapped in this colorful spell. Wenrin Moyan was like a creator god at this moment, using his agile and magical hands to create new miracles. After a long time, seeing that there was no trace in front of him, his body was as fragile as a newborn baby, and he had turned into a human ghost. When Ren Mo Yan nodded with satisfaction, it seemed that this method was feasible. At this time, Ghost Face also felt the familiar feeling, the feeling of being a human being. For a moment, Ghost Face was filled with emotions. I never thought I could be a new person again. Wenrin Moyan used the magic hand to change the body structure of Ghost Face. The Ghost Face can be transformed back and forth between human and cursed spirit. But the essence is still cursed spirit, but it is covered with a virtual and wonderful body and restraint. Of course, this transformation also comes at a cost. That is, the strength of Ghost Face in human form is only that of a first level Jujutsu master. If you want to use your full strength, you must transform into the cursed spirit form. 
Wen Ren Mo Yan could feel it, if it weren't for the fact that he and Ghost Face had a vague connection. He was also unable to realize that the man in front of him turned out to be a special grade cursed spirit. As expected, it took me a few days to master the technique. It was truly incredible. This golden finger is worthy of the name of heaven defying understanding. Wenren Mo Yan threw a piece of clothing that he had prepared in advance to Gui Mian. Then Kitchen, Hufu and several other special level cursed spirits were summoned one after another. After a night of silence, Wenren Moyan felt that his body had been hollowed out. After a night of hard work and hard work, Wenren Moyan successfully transformed the special cursed spirits such as Kitchen, Foxfu and Tamamozen into humans, that is, Jujutsu masters. The main thing is that they are just sitting around, so it is better to come out and do things for themselves. The stronger the strength, the more time-consuming and labor-intensive it is to turn. Finally, after a night of hard work, Wenren Moyan successfully transformed all of them. Moreover, Wenren Mo Yan also specially changed the faces of Kitchen and others. Otherwise, if you go out and you will be wanted by the Jujutsu world, then your efforts will not be in vain. Wenren Moyan's purpose in doing this was to manage the huge wealth that he had recently obtained through threats from Jujutsu's top executives. After all, there are so many industries that need to be taken care of, and they are all chickens that can lay golden eggs. Although he did not lack people under Wenren Moyan, he lacked people who he could trust unconditionally. Whether it was the Guan family or something else, Wenren Moyan was worried about leaving those assets to them for full management. From now on, Wenren Moyan wants to create his own power, so he can't do it without money. And there are several big plans later that require massive financial connections and manpower. Wenren Moyan appears to be rich, but is actually very short of money. In addition, Hufu and others have the talent and experience to manage assets, so they are very suitable to manage those assets for Wenren Moyan. Although Yamada no Orochi and Datengu have no experience in this area. But they know people's hearts well enough to manage people. That day, several first level Jujutsu division executives were parachuted in. When Ren Mo Yan officially created his own business empire, lay the solidest economic foundation for future plans and forces. A few days later, Jujutsu High School, in the corridor of the dormitory, Sha Yuji, Gojo Satoru, Ieri Shoko, and Wenren Moyan walked together as usual. In the corridor, Ieri Shoko lamented, Oh, I have so many tasks recently, I'm almost exhausted. I've recently discovered that I have dark circles under my eyes. Shayuji on the side narrowed his eyes and comforted Shoko gently. It is true that the number of cursed spirits has increased recently, but it doesn't matter. It will pass soon. By then, you can take a good vacation. That's right, Shoko, just sit back and sit calmly. Gojo Satoru grinned and interjected. I, Jia, Wen Ren, the three of us are the strongest. There's no task or problem we can't handle. I'm right, Jia, Wenren. Gojo Satoru looked at Wenren Moyan aside and said. Wenren Moyan nodded and said matter-of-factly, of course. Just when a few people were walking around the corner, there was a rest area with vending machines and benches. A beautiful and romantic blonde woman suddenly appeared in the sight of several people. The three of them looked at the woman in front of them with puzzled expressions. Only Wenren Moyan recognized that the woman in front of him was none other than 99 Yuki, who was also a special level Jujutsu master with him. Juju Yuki put his hands on his hips and supported his head, assuming a pose that showed off his perfect curves. She said her classic opening line, You are, Sha Yuji, Gojo Satoru and Wenren Moyan. What type of women do you like? Sha Yuji, Gojo Satoru looked at the familiar woman in front of him in confusion. Sha Yuji was about to ask who Juju Yuji was. But Gojo Satoru spoke first, who are you? Juju Yuji showed a confident and charming smile with proud eyes. Super Jujutsu Master, 99 Yuki. Sha Yuji was slightly surprised and looked at the 99 Yuji in front of him. Blurted out, you're the one. When Juju Yuji saw that Sha Yuji had heard of his name, he immediately showed a happy expression, looking forward to Sha Yuji's words of praise for him next. Yes, yes, I am. You are that trash who is obviously a special level person but doesn't accept the mission at all and just idles around abroad. The 99 Yuki who heard this could be seen with the naked eye. 
The expectation, hope, and bright light in her eyes disappeared. Junju Yuji felt a sense of loss, as if the sky had lost its color. But she recovered quickly, the purpose of her visit this time. That's right, it's him, Wenren Moyan. Looking at the white-haired boy in front of him, covering his mouth with his collar. Junju Yuji asked, Wenren Mo Yan, what type of woman do you like? Wenren Mo Yan glanced at Junju Yuji, and replied calmly, my requirements are very simple. Just like a fish and a wild goose, the beauty of the country. White teeth and red lips, a frowning makeup, lotus flowers. Graceful and graceful, the beauty of the country is fragrant, petite and exquisite, a peerless beauty, with picturesque features, clear eyebrows, as beautiful as a crown jade, with a beautiful face and moonlight appearance, a delicate face, bright eyes and white teeth, a thousand charms, a charming woman, a charming woman, a slender head and eyebrows, like a flower and a jade, a pair of pupils cut like water, and a graceful and graceful body. A mortal posture and appearance, small family jasper, beautiful appearance and wisdom, young peach and plum blossoms, elegant manners, hands like soft jade, the moon is closed and the flowers are ashamed, the water hibiscus emerges, the sky is beautiful, gentle and pleasant, beautiful and moving, noble and cool, surpassing all other flowers with clear eyebrows and beautiful eyes. She is as beautiful as a fairy, smart as ice and snow, gentle and pleasant, unparalleled in elegance, naturally beautiful, good in the hall and in the kitchen, capable of literature and martial arts, and immortality. As soon as these words came out, everyone was immediately stunned. We all understand before, what the hell is immortality behind you? Wenren Mo Yan said, haven't you heard a sentence? A female college student who is a third-year student will be given gold bricks, and a female college student who is a 300-year-old woman will be given elixirs. 99 Yuki understands, this kid is playing tricks on me. Where can such a woman exist? Could it be? Junju Yuki looked at the three grown men in front of him so close, and couldn't help but. A. The pure gaze from Yuki Kuju. Wenren Moyan interrupted the other party's evil eyes and said, Excuse me, Ms. Juju Yuji, what's the matter with you looking for me? 99 Yuki replied, Of course it's you who has just been promoted recently, and is also a special level Jujutsu master. Wenren Moyan smiled and said, Oh, really? 99 Yuki, of course. Then give me a congratulatory gift. As he spoke, Wenren Moyan stretched out his white and slender hand. I'm a student. 99 Yuki people are stupid, what is going on? How did this matter develop in this direction? But for some reason, she somehow took out her wallet and gave Wen Ren Mo Yan a gift. Wen Ren Mo Yan, who took the money, laughed and said, Thank you, Sister Juju Yuji, for your congratulatory gift. Listening to Wen Ren Mo Yan's voice, Juju Yuji finally realized and remembered the other party's information. Spell. Boy, you're kidding me. Juju Yuji stared angrily at Wen Ren Mo Yan. The reason why I took out the money in a daze just now was obviously because of the spell. This kid is so mean. If the boy doesn't give her a reasonable explanation today, she must give him some color. And the reason why Wen Ren Mo Yan did this was simply to anger the other party. In this way, he would have a chance to fight with 99 Yuki and understand the opponent's technique. As for why Juju Yuji was angered. Angry battles, fiery fists. It is more explosive and pure, making it easier for people to comprehend new and powerful techniques. Wen Ren Mo Yan vs 99 Yuji. Special grade versus special grade. Then let's start the war here. Wen Ren Mo Yan smiled lightly and looked at the woman in front of him with interest. Junju Yuji briefly looked around and found that this place was an uninhabited deep mountain and old forest. There are no villages or towns within dozens of miles, a truly deserted land. Junju Yuki held his waist with one hand and looked at the boy in front of him with confident eyes. The place is well chosen, so that I can let go and teach you a lesson. Are you sure you don't want to bring your friend Shoko here? I'll cripple you later so someone can treat you. Wen Ren Mo Yan waved his hand and said with a playful smile, It's okay, it's okay, I also know the reversal technique. Junju Yuji was a little surprised. I didn't expect that a brat like you knew quite a lot. Not only can it fly, but it can also reverse spells. Wen Ren Mo Yan chuckled. Oh my, I won't be proud if you praise me so much. 
The reason why the two of them were able to reach this location so quickly was because of Wenren Moyan's flying ability. Okay, stop talking nonsense and let me weigh it to see if your special one is hydrated. 99 Yuki relaxed his muscles and bones, making a crackling sound. Should we start? Then wait a moment. Wenren Moyan said. Junju Yuji looked puzzled. Could it be that this kid has given up now? Hey kid, aren't you scared anymore? I'm afraid, my sister will deal with you too. Junju Yuji grinned, and had already started imagining in his mind the scene of Wenren Moyan hugging his thigh, his sister, screaming, kneeling down to beg for mercy, not to mention how happy he felt. No, no, I just put up a curtain to prevent the aftermath of the battle between us from accidentally injuring others. As he spoke, a black sphere appeared in Wenren Moyan's hand. With a whoosh, the curtain flew to the sky, and after a while, a huge curtain fell upside down like a huge black bowl. It actually completely enveloped the mountains with a radius of dozens of miles. Looking at the black curtain slowly spreading above the sky, Junju Yuji could feel that this curtain was extremely strong. Junju Yuji even had a feeling that Wenren Moyan's realm attainments were not inferior to Tianyuan's. But Junju Yuji always felt that something was wrong. Even though Wenren Moyan had teased him, the two of them were also top-notch. But the essence is still a discussion, and we won't build such a big curtain. Etc. Has a problem. Junju Yuji looked sharply at the casual conversation not far away, and listened to the ink words without any clue. For the first time, she felt threatened. When Ren Mo Yan looked at Junju Yuji's wary eyes and grin. The young man's smile that should have been as bright as sunshine now looked a bit ferocious and gloomy in the eyes of Juju Yuki. Ah, I've been discovered. Wenren Moyan smiled even more, with a playful look on his face, filled with murderous intent and conspiracy. Kid, what do you want to do? Junju Yuki shouted angrily, his eyes turning from vigilant to hostile. Wenren Moyan smiled sarcastically, what are you doing? You're not doing anything. I just think that in the world of Jujutsu, one super Jujutsu master is enough. After hearing this, Junju Yuki reacted instantly. Maybe I was at Jujutsu High School before, right? This kid must have planned this a long time ago. 99 Yuki couldn't help but think of some secret news he heard some time ago. News that Jujutsu's top executives were blackmailed by Wenren Moyan. This kid doesn't want to kill me and then dominate the Jujutsu world. Junju Yuji's eyes hardened, and a surge of overwhelming anger swept through her brain. At this moment, 99 Yuki was like an angry lioness. Until her anger is extinguished, she will destroy everything in front of her. Court death. Looking at Junju Yuki, whose murderous intent has begun to boil. When Ren Mo Yan showed a satisfied smile on his face. Although he knew about the existence of 99 Yuki in his previous life, he did not know what the technique of 99 Yuki was. All we know is that she had already become a special Jujutsu master before Gojo Satoru, so her strength must be very powerful, maybe not weaker than Gojo Satoru. After all, the anime has not been updated to that point yet. Wenren Moyan believes that Yuki 99 will definitely have a very powerful performance in the subsequent story, like a fierce one. The powerful innate conditions of a Jujutsu master are, Firstly, the amount of curse power stored, and secondly, the spells engraved in his body. Wenren Moyan was looking forward to what surprises 99 Yuji would bring him. For Gojo Satoru and Sha Yuji, who are currently still at the quasi-special level, the spells brought to him are all bug level, completely conceptual and rule-based, which is ridiculous. The four major special levels, Okatsu Yuda, who is still a little baby at present, have not understood it. He was the only one who didn't understand the technique of Yuki Kuju who was the first to become a special level Jujutsu master. Wenren Moyan can't go to Okatsu Yuda, who is only a few years old now, to understand it. Let's not talk about whether the current Okatsu Yuda can Jujutsu, but it is still unknown whether his Jujutsu can trigger the heaven-defying comprehension when hitting Wenren Moyan. You must know that the conditions for triggering heaven-defying enlightenment are also very harsh. And the more powerful the technique, the more stringent the conditions, and the opponent must go all out. A simple discussion cannot reach that level at all. Wenren Moyan had already planned this situation. Only by fighting with murderous intent can you realize better jujutsu. Wenren Moyan was looking forward to what surprises 99 Yuji could bring her. 
Then, Ms. Kuju Yuki, please die here, okay. When Ren Mo Yan opened his zipper and exposed his mouth covered by his collar. Arms spread wide, a sick, obsessed smile on his face. 99 Yuki also showed a ferocious and murderous smile. We still don't know who will win. Kid, I know your technique very well, and I also know your information very well. I will let you know how huge the gap between special grades will be. The next second, 99 Yuki's figure disappeared from the spot, leaving only a huge pit. It is conceivable how terrifying the power that 99 Yuki had just exploded. When 99 Yuji appeared again, a fist had already come into Wenren Moyan's sight. Wenren Mo Yan's figure suddenly disappeared, escaping the violent blow. The next moment, a voice came from midair. Thunder. Rumble, the sound was loud and loud, shocking the earth. Electricity. Wenren Moyan opened his mouth, and a bolt of white lightning shot out from Wenren Moyan's mouth. It attacked towards 99 Yuki at a speed that was impossible to dodge. There was a loud bang, a thunderbolt exploded, and smoke billowed. When the smoke dissipates, there is no harm to the law of nature. 99 reasons, nothing will happen. When Ren Mo Yan also knew how such a small trick could possibly work on a special level Jujutsu master. It was mainly used for testing. Junju Yuji was also very surprised at the same time. She didn't expect that the spell could be used in this way. This is completely unreasonable. No spell is like this. Junju Yuji looked at Wenren Moyan in the sky and frowned. Sure enough, being able to become a special Jujutsu master is not that simple, it is really tricky. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.